If you're like me, you've downloaded some paywork content from KNL Trains only to find out you can't open the file because it's corrupted. Like, let me give you an example. I try to open it and it says it's unable to open it for reading. Which is really frustrating considering I paid money for these. Here's another one that's giving me the same error. I actually found out a way that you can extract the individual content from a CDP file and open them into the game. However, it's very limited and doesn't work all the time. And obviously, since the file itself is corrupted, whatever was corrupted along with it won't be able to be opened for the game. However, I was able to get most of the content from one of the packs that I downloaded using this system, so it's worth trying at the very least. So yeah, this is the link for it. I'll put the link in the description as well. You just download the one called cdp.explorer.version3.0.zip and here's how it works. You just double click it to run it and then search for the file that you want to open. Your computer's antivirus might ask for permissions for this over and over again for some reason. Yeah, that's really annoying. Anyway, just look for the file that you want. That's corrupted. Let's try this one for example. So, some of the files are still usable, but not all of them. In this one, nowhere near enough of the files are usable to actually download the entire package, sadly. All I have is the interior and um, two of the cars. Probably not even all the dependencies I need. Alright, so I'm going to extract it to... Okay, apparently I can't even extract this one. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty limited and doesn't work all the time. It depends on how corrupted the file is. And this one apparently is so corrupted that I can't even extract anything from it. However, I was able to extract the content from one of the Frisco locomotives that I downloaded, along with some of the cars it came with. The only car I couldn't extract was the, was the tool car, unfortunately. Okay, it's letting me export some of the files. However, I'm, I still won't be able to use it because it, I won't have the dependencies for it. So, it should actually let me import the ones that I just exported earlier. And it's actually letting me open them. But, like I said, without the dependencies, this is kind of useless. Yeah, it's going to say missing dependencies. And those dependencies are probably only available on the website and are missing as well. Because the file was corrupted. And the part that had the dependencies apparently was the one that was corrupted. And that's, I guess, the interior for one of the cars. Yeah, I might end up having to repurchase that one, sadly. Alright, uh tried another file this one only has two dependencies in it as well unfortunately okay so this is the file I extracted for the Frisco locomotive and some of the cars that it pulls the only one I was not able to extract was a tool car for that one so this is what happens when I try to export the tool car I get that error again. So if I wanted that tool car, I would likely have to repurchase that all over again. 
which is bad news for my wallet. <laughs> Let me try re-downloading some of them, if possible. Let's just go to my account. Let's see. It should have the list of things I downloaded, theoretically. Okay, it looks like there is a limit of how many times you can attempt to download something from this website. Which I don't really like because, uh... That means that if you exceed that limit, even if you already purchased it, you'll have to repurchase it again. I like Jointed Rails system better, where you have an unlimited amount of times that you can download something after you purchase it. Because that's a lot more risk-free than this. Like a lot of these only have one chance left, so if that one ends up being corrupted as well, then that's it. I just have to pur purchase it again. That doesn't really seem fair to me. Sadly, this one is quite corrupt as well. It does not have hardly any of the files that I need. And I can't extract the ones that are there either. Okay, this one seems to have a little bit more of the files that I need. But still not all of them. Let's see, I got engine specs, I think. Okay, those are the con seats for the trains. I can at least export those, but um... Probably not gonna have a lot of dependencies I need for the train cars themselves. So this one is likely still gonna have to be repurchased. Yep, and I can't export that last one for some reason. Well, there's the concise, but it's missing some dependencies. Pretty much all of them, actually. So that's of no use to me, unless I end up repurchasing it. Let's see, are there any other files I haven't tried yet? Let's try this one. This one only has two dependencies, and they're dependencies I already have, so kind of useless. What about this one? This one only has one dependency. It's a coach, but um, it's probably gonna. Ha oh, I can't even extract it. Never mind. All right, that one's glitchy too. All right, can't extract that one. Alright, it seems no matter how many times I try, it's not going to let me extract this one, so I might as well try something else. This is going to have to be repurchased as well. I'll just have to write a note, uh, make a note to that. Let's try something else now. Alright, this one has an engine spec and a concease. And at least one car, but not the locomotive, and probably none of the dependencies. Oh, I can't extract that either. Let me try exiting out and coming back. <laughs> okay, I opened this up yet again. Let's try a different file. Alright, that one doesn't work. Alright, let's try opening it again and looking for a different file. I don't know why, but no matter how many times I open this, it keeps requiring permissions. Anyway, uh, I already tried that, didn't I? That's the Baltimore and Ohio set. Yeah, I think I did. Alright, that's pretty much all the ones I can try, I guess. And I won't be getting any more useful files from the rest of them, sadly. So, the rest of the stuff that I downloaded, I'm likely going to have to repurchase. But first, I will try one more time, since I seem to have one try left. 
on most of these and see if I can download it again without it being corrupted. My internet has been really slow lately. I don't know why. Usually these things download in like a few seconds, but right now it's taking like the better part of an hour and I still don't know why what's causing that. All right, this is my last chance to download this express train or else I'll have to repurchase it. So let's hope this time it actually lets me open the CDP file. Okay. Somehow, as luck would have it, this time it works, even though it didn't work the first time. And it's actually installing the file for once. All right, and now for the moment of truth. Okay, after a second attempt, these were able to be installed in the game. However, unfortunately, I've exceeded my limit of attempts on some of them and will have to repurchase them. We're talking probably 30 to $60 worth of content. Alright, let's try re-downloading this um, CNO locomotive. This is my last attempt, so hopefully it goes well. Okay, I'm going to try downloading it from Internet Explorer because it's way too slow on Google Chrome for some reason. And I've heard some people say that downloads are faster on Internet Explorer than Google Chrome. So I'm going to try that and see if it works. No, apparently Google Chrome isn't the problem. Internet Explorer is equally slow, if not slower, at downloading. I don't know what's wrong with the Internet right now. Okay, Internet Explorer is taking way too long, so I'm just going to give up on that one. Let's see, did any of them download yet? No, not yet. Still waiting for that. Let's just close this Internet Explorer tab. Maybe that'll speed things up. I could also try Mozilla Firefox, because usually when I can't get Google Chrome or Internet Explorer to do the simplest of tasks, like download one file in less than a day, it will sometimes work in Mozilla Firefox. Mm -hmm. But I still only have a limited amount of times I can try this before I have to repurchase this, so it doesn't really make a difference anyway. Okay, well, it finished downloading, so let's see if I can open the file this time. Nope, failed to open it. Well, I guess I'm going to have to add that to the list of things I'm going to have to repurchase from this website. Okay, so I think the file automatically gets corrupted if your connection is slow when you try to download it. Actually, I'm not even really sure if that's the pattern, because I'm sure I've had these files get corrupted even when I had a fast connection when downloading. In any case, let's see if I can distract at least some of these files before repurchasing it. If I can get enough of the files, then maybe I won't have to repurchase it. Nope, I can't extract them. All hope is lost. I'm going to have to repurchase that one all over again. Well, let's try re-downloading something else right now, then. Well, on the positive side, the internet speed picked up a little bit, and I can actually download at a normal rate now. Not, not sure why it was so slow earlier, though. Okay, let's see if I can install this file. Okay, it actually worked for a change. That's good. Well, it seems to have installed correctly, this locomotive. That's good. Now let's try another one that I didn't run out of attempts to download. Okay, this one actually installed correctly. Alright, I'm about to retry another one. Okay, it looks like I've run out of attempts to download this one, so I'm going to have to repurchase that one as well. Unfortunately. Alright, well now I'm just repurchasing the ones that didn't work. 
This is the first one on this list that I made of the ones that I tried to download that didn't work correctly because I could not get the CDP file to even install. So yeah, I'm going to have to add this one to cart for the second time. This is another one I had to repurchase because of a corrupted CDP file. And while these prices don't look that high, they add up pretty quickly when you have to repurchase some of them twice. Now here's the full list of everything that I ended up having to repurchase and the total price, which is pretty risky considering I may have to repurchase them again considering how slow the internet has been lately. All right, let's try it again this time. Maybe this time it'll install correctly and not give me that annoying failed to install the CDP file error. Amazing! A file I downloaded from this website actually installed on the first try. There's the first. And there's the observation card. Good, it works. The second file I downloaded also seems to be working. Just more luck than I've ever had with CDP files from this website. I don't know why, it's only from this website that I have issues downloading CDP files. This one seems to be working as well. Okay, the cars from the BNO concise have installed correctly. Uh, no interior. That's all right, though. And here is the locomotive that pulls the concise. 